Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about the difference between the strength and the stiffness of a material. Now, these two terms are commonly used interchangeably, however they are quite different and this video will show some of the distinctions between the two terms. So first of all let's look at strength. Now when you're talking about the strength of the material what you're really looking at is what is the amount of stress that a material can take before it undergoes plastic deformation and in that case you're talking about the yield strength usually you have an upper yield and a lower yield or what's the maximum amount of stress a material can take before it breaks and that's the ultimate tensile strength so in these two you're you're looking at um, the property of the material which is usually based on the chemical composition so if you look at alloys with different compositions, we'll have different ultimate tensile strengths and different yield strengths. Also, strength is also affected by the heat treatment that a material is, affect, is subjected to. So different heat treatments provide different strengths. And also, if you look at the cross-section of the material, so different thicknesses will have different strengths. Um, stiffness, on the other hand, is also a measure of rigidity. So it looks at how much a material bends when it's subjected to a loading. So with stiffness, you're referring to this elastic region. Sorry, elastic region over here. Okay, if you look at an example, if you look at pla uh, like a rubber band, for example, it has very low stiffness because if you were to extend it under a very low force, it would, if you were to apply a low force to it, and return it to its original shape it would extend a lot but come back to its original shape so we're still looking within the elastic region but diamond on the other hand has very high stiffness because if you apply very high loading on it it still doesn't extend that much so we're looking at how much strain or how much how much does the material bend when it's subjected to a load remember we're talking about the elastic region now Okay, so with stiffness, we stay within the elastic region and how the material behaves. But with strength, we look beyond the elastic region and how does it behave or how much stress can it take before it starts to undergo plastic deformation or how much stress can it take before it breaks. So thank you for watching this video and I hope this was useful. Bye bye.